This is the Lone Stag here with detailed instructions on how to use Quick Pwn. And this is for any version of your iPhone or iPod Touch running 2.0, 2.01, or 2.02. .02. And what we're going to do to start off with is download Quick Pwn using the link that I put up there. Or, well actually, yeah, that way. Once it's done, go down to the folder where you downloaded it, uh, extract all the stuff, and then open the new folder. Go to the QuickPwn GUI and then run it. Once QuickPwn is installed, what you're going to do is take your, whichever one you have, iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPhone 3G. I've got an iPod Touch, so that's why I'm going to click. Go to Next. Then you're going to click the firmware that you are currently running right now. I'm running 2.0.2, .2, so I'm going to select that. If you downloaded it from iTunes, I've posted how to get to it in my uh, post. And I really don't want to say it all out loud because it's pretty long and boring. Okay, you want to add every single one of these, Cydia installer and the boot logos, and then go to next. And now it's time to do the pwnage process. And this is going to uh, occur in a command line window. So click go, and right there, that's the command line window. Right now it's just starting up and getting ready to actually run the program it was made to run. What's going to happen is it's going to give you sets of directions and make sure you follow them. The first direction it says to do is to turn off your iPod or iPhone. So you all know how to do that. Hold power, slide power off. There you go. And when it's done, press enter. Okay, now this is going to be a little tricky. Uh, I've written down on my post uh, what you have to do. It's you should read it before you actually do this because it's kind of confusing. Okay, I'll just talk while I'm doing it. You're going to click Y because it's yes and then click enter. you first starting off uh, holding the power, just power alone for five seconds. So enter, power. We're going to hold it. Starting now, hold power button. Five, four, three, two, one. Now hold on to the home button. One. Now let go of power and hold home. It's pretty much putting it into DFU mode. And I do it a different way, but I guess they wanted to do it this way. Okay, there you go. Now it's in its mode. The screen will turn white. That's normal. And it's going to start doing operations. It's on zero right now out of seven. When it's done with the operations, you're going to see this circle going around. It's the refresh logo thing. And what is going to happen when that's done, it's going to turn back on right here. You'll see the Pwn logo right there. And it's just going to turn it back on, and then you'll be all set with the Pwning process. After this, if you've used any of my, or watched any of my other videos you're gonna see how to get Cydia working and how to do boss tool if you already know how to do that you can just stop now if not go ahead and keep watching for those of you who have that's it you're done happy hacking now we have to do some final touches here which are pretty basic and stuff but you need to do it anyways you can see mine's already got applications on it because I've been on 2.0 before but yours should be pretty blank what you're going to want to do is go to Cydia Packaging. I've already uh, moved it because I like it there. It's going to refresh and it's going to ask you to uh, do some mandatory changes right here. Five essential upgrades and you're going to want to do that. It's quite important. Confirm.
and this should be pretty quick. Cydia is pretty much better than installer, especially as of right now. Now you're going to want to exit and then, uh, like I did, hit home and then get back on here. It's going to reorganize, automatically restart when done. But you need to do this because it's just going to move stuff around to give it more space. And then that's when we're going to use boss tool. But when you open Cydia next time, it's going to ask uh, who you are pretty much. A user, hacker, or developer. Uh, I suggest using clicking user for you guys. I know most of you probably aren't familiar with Cydia. But um, it's pretty easy once you get used to it. Go to sections down here. Go to all packages. And we're going to scroll down to boss tool. right here. Now you click it, click install, click confirm. There we go. Now I'll refresh, click the home button. And there's boss tool right there. You're going to want to open it and then click relocate fonts. See right here your disk space it says 59 megabytes of 500. Click relocate fonts. It's going to do it. Okay, it's going to move this. It's going to take 30 seconds. Don't freak out. Okay. It's not going to look like it's doing anything right now, but it's doing it. Doing there you go. Fonts already moved. Look at that. 169 megabytes out of the 500, which is a lot. And now you can go back to Cydia and uninstall boss tool because it's not useful for anything else after that. Uninstalling it won't change everything you've just done. It'll just take boss there. So now go to manage down here, packages. It's, yeah. Now click boss tool, modify, remove, and confirm it. And there you go. Now you've got a pwned 2.0.1 iPod or iPhone.